Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Dot 2 Action Figure Review. Um, today I will be reviewing the um, Toys R Us 6 figure pack with the internal Dalek. Um, now I'll start off with the internal Dalek. If I just move the others. Okay. Now... Internal Dalek. Um, Toys R Us say that it's exclusive to this box set, but as most of you probably know, it has been released single carded in the Dalek Paragram wave. Now, I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's it. I don't know if they've got it wrong, or it is exclusive but does not here. I don't know, um, it all really depends, um, but it is a good figure, and it's really nice. So, I'll start off with articulation, the eye does go up and down, only that bit, it's very stiff, and the eye is twisted, and I cannot twist it the other way, it just pop back so I'm hoping that will wear down soon so I can twist it. The second one can spin around but it's still very stiff. The second one can turn around quite good. This exterminator arm got it wrong, said it wrong. Um sorry. Um black spheres Really nice, black and yellow, does work really nicely. And the big black bottom with the three wheels. Um, so you can move these there. Now, there was a bit, when I first took out the box, there was some stuff I realised, like, for starters, the eye is twisted. And if I thought I'd just turn it around. I don't know if you'll see. Right there. Oh, focus. There's a little bit of black plastic there. And, um, it's... I think that's what's stopping the eye from twisting. Because I have twisted it. And it won't work. Although I could be wrong. That could just be hanging off. And it's just stiff inside, so... Yeah, um, other things I noticed on the back of the head, there's a little bit of paint missing, um, and some few other black dots, like, lamps reflecting on it, like, there's a few black dots, there. But it's hardly anything. I mean, when it comes to my action figure adventures, you won't see the back of the head that lot. Um, if we look down here, um, in between, yellow paint has got in between the cracks. But I think that's happened to my other Dalek figures, so it doesn't really matter. The sacro arm is slightly curved, um, where it was in the packaging doesn't really matter. And the sphere is a little bit of plain paint, but not that much. It's splodged. There's only on like, it's only on like one or two spheres. Um, then at the back, we have his secret weapon. Um, hopefully we'll find out what that is in series six. Um, uh, but I don't know the Daleks are in Series 6, because we got the trailer last night. Um, didn't see the Daleks, but I'm sure that's only for a few episodes. Um, so yeah, really nice figure. Um, rec I do recommend you get this set, because it is a nice figure. Um, next is the... Matt Smith. Um, now... 
I'm not gonna go reviewing this figure. Um, because I have reviewed it already. Um, the only differences I can see is that the toy jacket is a little bit different. It's like the one in the Eleven Doctor set. I think it's different from the Crash set, but that's me. And the Sonic screwdriver is not as hard. It's more wonky, like the Tenth Doctor's, because the Ninth Doctor's was hard and the Tenth was wonky. So, um. So if you want to know more about my Max Smith review, check out the time, no, the crash set review um, I did back in April. Next up is the Smiler. Now, this Smiler is the bold one. Now, I don't know what they were thinking releasing the bold one in the first place. Um, it just doesn't look right. Because you can't do much of a bold smile. It's basically an error mistake figure. Um, face sculpt is brilliant. The teeth look separate to the sculpt. Looks like they sculpted the face and put the teeth in. Because... It is really good oh, lose focus. Um the body is a really nice pink purple and blue. Um with the black sleeves and the hands. Articulation, the head can turn side to side. Oh, it can do 360. Um, arms do 360. That was bend, hands do 360. And the legs can bend and swivel, but as he is wearing a cool thing. Um, there is some painting errors. There is, um, There's a bit there, on the black bit of his shirt, and there's a few splodges of purple on the blue bit, um, but that's all really. So, really good figure, um, not the boldness. Recommend getting a two-faced figure. Next is the Weeping Angel, regenerating. Um, I have already reviewed this figure, so I highly recommend well, I don't highly recommend because it was dark and the quality was quite bad. Um, check checking out my old review of it. Um, there's no differences I can see. Um, maybe it's done with a bit of gloss on it now. I don't know. It seems a bit more shinier to the original release. But other than that, just a re-release. Next up is the Silurian Warrior, and. It comes with an interchangeable mask. The mask is fantastic. If I just put it back on the sculpt, it does fall off the sculpt. That is annoying. If I just zoom in, see the sculpt is fantastic. I just think the mask is a little bit too big. Really good. Um, now it is interchangeable, so, if I just, sorry, take off the mask, and there's the sculpt, really, really nice, the face detail is fantastic, looks a lot like a layer, and all the reptilian effect, Brilliant. Yeah. This is a figure alone. This is a reason alone for getting the set. So next up. Um, she comes with a gun. 
really nice accessory. Um, I am going to review her single carded later on. Probably not until next year, but very early next year. Um, I don't know. But I will f review her single carded so you can get to see her more. I'll just give you a quick glance at the armour and detail. So that's Cider and Mora. Really highly recommend getting the Cider and Mora, even if it's single carded or in the set. Last up, the Iron Side Dardlick. Um, the earmuffs, so this good site needed one with the earmuffs. Um, yes, again, the articulation, the head does 360, eye goes up and down and pops out really easily, but it did with some old directs. Sucker arm turn, uh, exterminator gun turns, I need to learn my last. Sucker arm turns, and it's got the wheels. Now, I'm not going to go into detail because I have reviewed this figure before. But um, I think it's just... It seems like a batch of... Um, old ones in here because the quality control on this set is not fantastic. So... I just... So, that's it for this review. Um, I would only get this set if you want it for army building. Because this is basically an army building set. Um, so, um, I don't know where the exclusive comes into it on the uh, internal dialect, but... It, it, it's your choice, really. Um, I would get the single carded internal dialect southern warrior and two faced smiler then you don't need this set to be honest um thank you for watching and next time I'll be reviewing Francesco the vampire goodbye mm <laughs>